Hey, how's it going? This is Future Marstead talking to you from January 10th, 2021. Uh, the episode you're about to watch is actually a combination of three episodes recorded between like November 6th and November 8th, 2019. So this one's more than eight hours of gameplay. It's about 24 hours. I just wanted to point out at some point during these three episodes, I live entertain the idea of changing my Tin Man rules on the fly. And in fact, go so far as to buy something from the Grand Exchange that technically was new to the rule set. Uh, I just wanted to point out here that by the end of the Quest Cape playthrough, I do make good on this. I do actually pay that item back, earn it conventionally, and sell it back to the Grand Exchange. So don't panic. The playthrough's not ruined. Um, I guess I'll leave it to you to speculate while you're watching what it could possibly be that, that I would want to buy from the Grand Exchange, breaking my rules. Uh, but they don't stay broken, and I do come back and, and do it legitimately afterward. Thanks. Enjoy. Hey, welcome to a new episode. I have lots of chores I have to do around the house, which means I should do Nightmare Zone. So I'm going to go start that. Uh, we're going to do at least one run, which I think runs about two hours, maybe two, depending on how it's going. I'm just going to be setting an alarm on my phone and coming back to the machine to check overloads every so often. So we'll go ahead and mute. Enjoy it on fast forward. <laughs> we'll be back. See ya. Tax 74, happen to be sitting down for it. Uh, I don't think I have to be around for a while. Four hours till hit points level up. Two hours until 75 attack, though, switch to defense. Uh, I'll be back at the machine to activate the next server load when my phone alarm goes off. Back to cat litter. So I missed 75 attack a while ago. I was doing uh, dishes and vacuuming. So I'm going to swap over to defending. You do it for the dagger while I'm thinking about it. I want to get defense to 75 next. Back to chores. All right, made it to the end. Came out with 149,000 reward points. It cost about 140,000 for my the way I'm doing prep right now. So we ended up breaking even, making a very small profit. But my main concern is breaking even. I'm gonna go ahead and stock back up on these. Get up to my base threshold of 80 overloads and 160 absorbs. And then uh, go take a break for stream, and when we come back, I will do something different. Maybe try to work on the prayer grind, if I can find a way to do it. it makes sense. Just killing blue dragons over and over is probably fine, but I'd love to have it be helping us with something else, you know? Or find, like, uh, something that drops dragon bones that's particularly close to a bank that is, that is easy. It's not like those miserable iron dragons. I'm also quickly before we sign off here, gonna throw some more money in the coffers so I don't forget. Okay, cool. See you in a few seconds. Hello, we're back. Um, okay, so lots of stuff I could be doing. Uh, I want to grind prayer to 70 for the Mauritania Hard Diary. I think that's gonna involve fighting blue dragons off task. I have to kill like 1200 of them or something stupid. Um, so I think we're gonna do that, but. Uh, I want to see if we luck out and get a good task that drops bones first. So I'm going to go finish the Slayer task we're currently working on. We need to get to the 69 Slayer anyway. Um, hopefully it doesn't drop... Well, if it drops Clue Scrolls, that's great. That's more potential upgrades we can get. So I'm not going to say hopefully they don't drop any Clue Scrolls. But the Clue Scroll count has been insane lately. Um, I guess before I do this, let me go buy my, uh, my herb boxes for the day and get my sand and all that fun stuff. Then we'll go back to the Fermentic Slayer Cave. See if we get hard clues for number six. Uh, 
You guys are good at dropping herbs. I just got a double ranar we drop. I showed his orange on the ground. I got all excited for a second. So I've been over here during this task doing some herb lore math. Um, I calculated the average XP per herb obtained from an herb box from Nightmare Zone. This isn't on the wiki, but I was able to just put it together based on the drop chances listed in the wiki. Uh, my math suggests that you get about 72.65 XP per herb from an herb box. So if an herb box has 10 herbs in it, that means you get about 726 XP uh, per box. You can open 15 boxes per day, uh, so that's about 10,890, we'll call it 10,900 XP, herbal or XP, per day from Nightmare Zone boxes only. Um, so I'm just trying to calculate if all I did was Nightmare Zone for herbal or XP, how long would it take me to get to certain level thresholds? So Nightmare Zone only, starting from the XP I'm at right now, so not starting from uh, from a low level, it would take 34 days to get from 62 where I am now to 70 using Nightmare Zone boxes only. And that doesn't include the herbs I already have banked or the boxes that I already obtained. We're going to pretend like those don't exist. I'm just trying to get like a, like a rough sense. Um, if I wanted to go to 76 herb lore, and the reason I would do 76 is because then I can use a spicy stew to boost to 81 to make ceridomen brews, which would be miserable. I, I don't want to do it with, uh, with spicy stews. That would suck really bad. Um, but if I were to do that, that would take 88, let's say it's 89 days, which is a really long time. And if I wanted to do Herbal or 77, at which point I could use a Botanical Pie, which is a fixed plus four bonus to Herbal or, which is much more realistic. Uh, that's more like 101 days. So obviously I'm going to have to hit it with things in addition to Nightmare Zone, um, especially if I want to finish the quest cape in a, in a reasonable, timely fashion. Can't depend entirely on Nightmare Zone boxes, but the Nightmare Zone XP is significant. It's not to be overlooked. Um, I think getting to 70 with Nightmare Zone only is super doable. It's, at least it's going to help a lot on our way there. At some point I should go through and calculate the potential XP value of my bank. I should be able to do that. Maybe when I head back to my bank, before we do whatever the next thing we're going to do is, I'll... Um, take a screenshot of my herbs, and then calculate how much potential XP is in there. Oh hey, task complete. Uh, 61 tasks, 18 points, 190 total points. Let me get out of here. Go see what the next task is. I've been on this Turoth task for... It's not been like 100 hours, but it's been dozens of hours, because we kept getting those clue scrolls breaking up. And then depending on what we get, I might go try to just grind blue dragons. I need to get as many dragon bones as I possibly can. But it's like 1,200 bones. It's going to suck. It's going to be like multiple episodes of Blue Dragon Grind. Get to 70 prayer. Okay, um... Rock. Steel dragons. Fucking great. I assume those are worse than, uh, than iron dragons. So we bought those anti-fire potions for. to pay them back. Alright, well, let's not do that right now. Uh, let's do Blue Dragons for a bit. Taverly Dungeon. See what my best shot is for blue dragons. I think last time I fought them in an entirely drunk dungeon just because they were close over Enclave. There's one of the heroes killed. Yeah, but it's caged. Okay, never mind. I think Taverly is probably the closest one to a bank. Okay, well, I don't need all of these runes. Tone this down a little bit. You know, I think I can conserve some space here if I bring a needle and throw... Oh, wait, no, because I can't tan the leather. Shit, if I had leather tanning, that would be... Right, I need to switch off the Slayer Helm. It's not helping me here. Do that when I get back to town. Another tooth half of key. My old friend. All right, I'm gonna step away, kind of take a quick break. We'll be back. Probably more dragons. We'll see. Hey, I'm back. Um, this is pretty slow. Uh, I'm getting slightly fewer than one dragon bone per minute, and I need like 1,200 bones to do the suit of the ectofunctus. So math suggests it would take me like 20 plus hours to finish 
uh, just getting the bones, like, then the ectofunctus is insanely slow after that. So I like to test, <sighs> I hate this, I'd like to test using the wilderness altar, uh, which I understand is pretty effective, um, but it's also insanely dangerous, and I guess if I ever do it for real, I'm probably going to want to do it, uh, I'm probably going to want to do it, like, really early in the morning, at, like, as close to the lowest player count possible. So I'm going to... Just makes me nervous. I'm going to go grab the Archaeus Spellbook so I can teleport there. I guess the Burning Amulet's smart. Because then I can keep my normal teleports. I guess I can make teleport tabs. That makes more sense, probably. I don't know if I can craft those yet. Shoot. Let's just try doing it from the, the lava maze first. We might finally get my first death here trying this out. Okay, so we don't want to bring anything except the burning amulet and dragon bones. No, and a skills necklace because I want to be able to get out of there. Not have to recharge it every so often. Ugh, not looking forward to this at all, I gotta say. Okay, let's give this a shot and see how it goes. More than a little nervous. There's a player there, but they're just doing a clue, so probably safe from them. You ready to run away as we get close to the altar here? Players here, are you fucking kidding me? There's two of them. I don't want this one. Or I have to offer the bones, don't I? I'm really lucky there, like it didn't burn the bones for a long time. This is faster than the Ectofunctus for sure, and it's better XP. Ectofunctus is like 400%, this is 700%. Now, this is so frustrating. This is so scary, though, because you spend so much time in one place. It's not like a clue scroll where you like run to a place, kill the thing really quick. You are here for a minute. At least the skill necklace will be saved. I think. I guess if I die out here, then I'll be less stressed out about attempting the Grand Master quest. Part of that is just like not wanting to die in the playthrough. But I can say, hey, I played through all the Master and Lower quests without ever dying, and then I died in the wilderness while training prayer. Figures, huh? Okay, that was 15,000 for our XP. That's pretty good. So that's doable, but it's terrifying. And unfortunately, it's too far away to get away immediately. I can get away a little bit faster, care of the skills necklace. Just have to recharge it every so often. Gonna try doing another run here. I guess I can just do one whenever I get a full inventory. Maybe it spreads my risk around if I'm not just there nonstop on the same world with dozens and dozens of bones. I hate this though. <laughs> I really hate this. Oh man. Items kept on death. Skills, necklace, burning amulet, and dragon. Okay, so if I die, I just lose the dragon bones. It's, it's really not that bad, but it still freaks me out. Stupid as it is. Just gotta be ready to world hop the whole time. You know how it is. 64 prayer. That's cool. Gotta keep going though. No time for dilly dallying. And having to like manually offer them to get the fastest speed is so stressful because it's like you have to focus on your inventory, you can't zoom out. You have to be zoomed in to reduce the travel distance with your mouse. You can't see enemies coming towards you. You can kind of look at the mini-map, but there's risk there, too. I need to figure out which uh, skills necklace teleport is closest to a bank. I'm actually not sure. All right, this is still going to take like 10 hours for me to get to 70 this way, but 10 hours is significantly fewer hours than the 20 plus because like Ectofunctus alone takes hours. Oh, I think I'm going to have to use the Wilderness Altar. I hate it, but I think that's what I got to do. Okay, so if you get there with zero run energy, 
it looks like you will always have enough run energy to run constantly to the south once you're done, which maybe isn't that helpful. Jeebus. Let me see how fast I can do blue dragons if I don't pick up the hides, if I only pick up the bones. I feel like it's not going to save that much time. Because, like, the run, it's basically saving, it's cutting the number of times I have to run back and forth from Falador in half, and I don't think that that's a huge contributor to the overall time taken. Hey, sorry, I was AFK for a second. I need to step away for a few minutes. For, well, for you, a couple seconds. In fact, just going to do about an hour of uh, Blue Dragons here, see what we end up with. Hit point 79. Nice. Okay, so I think my plan now is to build up enough bones to be able to make a run and then make the run. However, uh, I don't want to do that. It's getting close to peak time. I think I want to, like, save bones until, like, 3 in the morning or something to reduce the chance I run into a peak air. Uh, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to save up as many bones as I can. I need... how many to get to 70 now? Let me recalculate it. Chaos Alter... Six hundred and thirty-nine. So I'm gonna do my best to get that. Uh, it's probably gonna take a couple episodes. I think the estimate's about ten hours, which is fine. Just try to split it up with some other tasks in the meantime. But I'm gonna take a short break, get ready for stream, and we'll be back in a few seconds. I'm back. Let's go. Uh, well, I'm gonna go do some more bones, but before that, I'm gonna go to um, do my nightmare zone pickup real quick. My herb boxes. That was the thing I was trying to say. I don't think I mentioned it earlier while I'm doing these herb boxes. I finished doing the herb lore math. Um, so before this set of boxes, obviously I'm getting more XP here. I had uh, 500, well, 150. I had enough XP from herbs in my bank to go from the end of 62 herb lore to 66. I ended up doing the math. And then I calculated that based on the average XP rates from these boxes that I would need another 18 days worth of boxes in addition to the stuff that was already in my bank uh, in order to hit 70 herb lore from Nightmare Zone boxes alone. So obviously once it gets down to the wire with herb lore, I'll do other things too in addition to Nightmare Zone, but kind of sets an expectation. Beyond that, it's still 76 days of Nightmare Zone boxes for 70, no, 74 days to get to level 76 herb lore, which I'm not happy about. I need to get that if we want to make serodomin brews using spicy stew. And then 86 days if we wanted to make serodomin brews just using a botanical pie. One thing I might do uh, once I finish Prayer 70 and get the Mauritania hard diary, I'll have a teleport to Verderot which is basically right at Morton. So I could uh, go in and uh, try to do the, the Terramin Serum 207 loop, where you turn in Serum 207 to villagers and then hope that they give you um, a Terramin back. It looks like you can stretch out Terramins for quite a while, and they only get 50 XP a piece, but it's really not that much less than some of the later herbs. So I can't yeah, take what you can get. This is the best way I can put it. Okay, so my original plan was, I hinted at this a little bit before I signed off uh, a little bit ago, um, to get enough uh, bones to get one level, to go get the level and then go back to getting bones. But it's like five o'clock Pacific. It seems like that's the worst possible time into the wilderness altar. So instead, I'm just going to get as many bones as I can before I go to bed. And then I'm going to try to set an alarm to wake up during two o'clock a.m. or three o'clock a.m. and... Uh, try to offer as many of these as I can. We'll see if I can get enough bones. Well, I won't get them tonight because it's the projections like 10 hours. But we'll see if we can get a ton of bones before I have to sign off and go to bed. So I'd like to do at maximum one or two um, offering sessions to the altar. So this doesn't take a long time. It's slow. I'll be 
I'll talk if anything interesting happens. See ya. Oh, right, I was doing some research on this. Um, I might go try some black dragons. They're quite a bit nastier than these blue dragons, but I kind of want to see what the difference is in, like, kill speed. Because they've got better drops. Um, namely, they drop uh, something that lets me upgrade my dragon fire shield. It's like a super rare 1 in 10,000 thing, but hey, it'll at least be something to be excited about. Um... We actually unlocked those in the Evil Chicken's Lair way back in Recipe for Disaster, several hundred hours ago. So, we might pop over there and just see what it's like for a bit. We'll probably end up coming back to Blue Dragons. These guys are nice and safe, and it's fairly quick to kill them. Ranged 81. We like getting big numbers. More max hit, higher max hit, more accuracy, more damage. Right, I'm going to give um, Black Dragons a try for just like a run worth of uh, hides and bones, and we'll probably go back to Blue Dragons. The blue hides are actually pretty good for crafting XP, I think. I think we tan all these. It's fairly decent. Can I calculate that really quick? I do need to hit 70 crafting here. Yeah, so if we did 942 actions, god, that's still a lot. <laughs> uh, and we need to get fletching up to 72 to be able to make the blue dehyde shield, because we need a use shield in the process. Gee willikers. I'm going to bring some extra food just in case here, since they're a little bit nastier. They are, I think, effectively closer to a bank than the blue dragons are, because they're accessible via Zenaris. But I think there's some jank, like I have to use a, a raw chicken to get in there or something. So we'll see how this works. I, I might just go back to blues. Gotta get some chickens. Also, I somehow completely forgot about the miscellanea thing, so I probably have a bunch of stuff here to claim. Probably throw some extra money in there, too. Chickens down here somewhere. If I remember correctly, I didn't put that much money in the coffer because I was kind of broke when I did this quest a while ago. There's chickens. Nuked. Remember when chickens were a threat? I don't want to get too many of them because I'm not planning on making that many trips, but I'm expecting blue dragons to be way more effective. 1,256 coal. Oh yeah, I should have given them more money. <laughs> Be getting lots and lots of herbs and stuff. Straight to the bank, too. Let's put everything into herbs. Screw coal. What was I even doing? I guess I wasn't really thinking. At the time, I needed coal for, like, uh, dumb stuff. And I'll try to remember to come back later once I get some more money. Herbs from that should help a little bit with herb lore trading. Alright, um... The daily stuff in this game stresses me out. Like, I don't actually enjoy it very much. Fortunately, there's quite a bit less of it than there is in other uh, MMOs, but I don't like feeling stressed that every time I play, okay, there's like 20 things I have to do. Final Fantasy XIV is the best solution to that. They have this allowance system where if you don't do something uh, for a day, if you, like, skip your daily, then you accrue an allowance, and then the next day you have... An allowance, so you could do that day's daily and an extra one. So if you're able to play really hardcore, uh, you can plug in a lot of it right there. I think that would be nice if that's how like the Nightmare Zone boxes worked, where you could build up some and then just go buy a bunch of them all at once if you had a weekend to play a lot of it. All right, so it turns out it's really slow. Uh, in addition to them having more hit points than the blue dragons, they also have insanely high defense, even with this 81 ranged setup. So going back to blue dragons. That's the end of this episode, though. Let me pop over to the Felidor Bank. I think next episode just going to start with some more of this. I'm going to try to knock out a bunch before I go to sleep. Still no mini quests. We're just, we're just working on diaries. That's... Y you know me... Especially from before we were uh, doing one quest per episode, it's uh, it's really easy to get distracted. But I would very much like the hard Mauritania diary, and to get that we need to have 70 prayer. And I'd like to go hard on it, get the 70 prayer, it's something that's going to help with the Grand Master quest. Anyway, um, do the Mauritania hard diaries, and then I want to do Barrows. I think I can't justify putting off Barrows any longer uh, once I have the diary that increases the rewards from it. 
can go ahead and deposit these chickens too. Just in case we decide to try them again later. The black dragons, that is. Alright, thanks for watching. Uh, next episode we'll start right off from here. I'm heading right over to the Taverly Dungeon to get some more blue dragons. See you then. Bye. Hello, hello, another new episode. Uh, we're working on 70 Prayer right now for the Mauritania Hard Diary. That involves killing lots of blue dragons and bringing their bones to the Wilderness Altar. Um, I will probably not get enough bones to get to 70 right now. I need lots of shit. Calculated here while I'm talking. Uh... 639. I've got 70 in the bank right now, and killing them, I, I kill about one per minute, or a little bit worse than one per minute, so it's going to take many hours, but we'll get there. Um, I might take a break and do something else this episode, depending on how it's coming along. Uh, my plan is to go to the Wilderness Altar during, like, the uh, lowest activity times, probably like two or three in the morning. I'll set an alarm, wake up, come down here and record that. So that's likely going to end up breaking this into a couple sessions. Right now it's 6 o'clock Pacific time, um, where I am. So I, I'm not going to get all 600 bones that we need in that time. Anyway, let's fast forward through it and see what happens. I'm going to try to adjust the, um, the scroll speed on my mouse really quick after this one goes down. I have two mice. I've got one for my stream PC and one for the gaming PC try to use the stream PC rather than pull when you see that ripple effect that's me pulling in my stream PC mouse onto the gaming PC if you put director anyway the scroll wheel on my, my shitty gaming PC mouse is kind of bad so I'm just gonna put up this image and check the mouse settings really quick mouse settings how many lines to scroll at a time oh yeah let's turn that way up let's see if that helps it's slightly better not much better it was previously at one line at a time. Alright, uh, I'm actually going to go do my Slayer task real quick. It just occurred to me they're also dragons, and they'll also drop bones. So I may as well get bones for this project. I'm not as concerned about leveling prayer after we get to 70, because there aren't any... Super exciting uh, thresholds after that. So we'll go do this awful sounding steel dragon task, and then we'll, uh, we'll come back to blue dragons after that. Because I think steel dragons are even worse than iron dragons, like they're even harder. Oh, I totally forgot to check the health on the uh, mahogany and teak trees. I'll do that after my inventory fills here, if I remember. Because I think I can plant some new ones, and since it takes so long for them to grow, I should do that now. I'm guessing I might be able to get pretty close to 70 farming just from that. Hopefully. This is awful. My hit rate is so low, and they have a ton of hit points. I can't make ranging potions. I could come back with mage. They're slightly weaker against mage, but their base defense is extremely high. Probably just need to be prayer flicking to make sure I actually have prayer. So maybe I'll leave and come back and give that a try here. So I've just got a Chivo. That's cool. Uh, there's supposed to be another area that I can only go to on task I'm curious about here. I kill the dragons in here. Assigned to do so. Okay. I'm gonna come back by another path later. We need 5,000 trading sticks to get into the other entrance, but it's permanently unlocked once it's paid. And I think I can get that with uh, Karamja gloves and some of the like opals and jades and stuff that I've stored. I'm gonna wait until this Dragonfire potion runs out though. What's up, Banasak? Tell me about this hole. It leads to the caves beneath this part of the island. Dragons at the other end. You can hear the noises and smell the smoke coming up the passage. Can I go down? It's 
sort something out for you. Brother's got a job guarding the main entrance. The undercutting him if I let go down this hole. 5,000 trading sticks. It's a deal. Make sure you're prepared. Alright, here we go. Made it to the Steel Dragons. I'm using magic now. Hopefully it's not too terrible. Okay, so I got a phone call there and didn't get a chance to unmute to talk about it, so it probably just got fast-forwarded through, but I got a uh, runite limb, uh, which will let me craft my own rune crossbow, which I think I'm going to get high enough fletching to be able to do. Let's see. Fletching 69, yeah, as long as I keep going for the blue dragon hide shield, I will be able to do that. So that is exciting to me. It might not seem terribly exciting, but that is exciting to me because um, I only have two of them. I got them from that archaeologist fight, which is like super dangerous out in the wilderness. Uh, and I'm concerned that if I lost one, I'd only have one backup. And having another set of limbs, I can make a, another one and get some XP out of it. So that'd be cool. Magic 75! Very exciting. We unlocked Fire Wave, and maybe some other stuff. I'll check. It'll be easier to boost Super Glass to make now. Super lucky, my anti-fire potion's almost dead. I gotta get out of here. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and check on my hardwood trees that I planted on Fossil Island, because I totally forgot. That's my alarm to hit my anti-fire potion. Teleport! Get the fuck out! I'm gonna go do the Fossil Island thing real fast, and then we'll come back. Finish up these last six Steel Dragons. These Metal Dragon tasks are... Woof, it's not a good time. I guess there's a chance that we could get a really exciting drop, but it's like a 1 in 10,000 in my experience so far with rare drops is that I go about double the expected number of kills before I get the drop. Um, I need to do bank cleanup, too, and I need to do bank cleanup fairly soon, uh, so I may try to work on that after I get back from this. I should go cash in these four long bones, get my construction level. Alright, we are going to a place. Fossil Island, but I'm going to stop at the farming guild first because I need to get more seeds and other shit related to that. So. Big XP drops. 7,000. 15,000. 7,000. Wonderful. The squirrel's gonna chop down the tree for me. I forgot to bring coin shit. Never mind. Huh, rune mace. I wonder if you can buy that somewhere. Wow, I ran out of error. I ran out of air runes. Oh, I want to die. No, I can't teleport out. No! Oh, this blows. Hold on. Jesus, I still have three left to kill. Oh. I had no idea I was that close to being out. Now I have to walk to Verok. I have to walk to Ver I haven't walked to Verok in 650 fucking hours because I've had Verok teleport. But I don't have enough I don't have enough air runes because I burned them all. 
I'm really glad I wasn't AFK there. I could have stepped away for just a quick second to go grab a soda or something, run in a meleeing a steel dragon, and oh Jesus! All right, well let's let's enjoy this walk. I'll uh I'll jump over that little shortcut in the fence. I know this area quite well from the first hundred hours or so of gameplay, but oh my god! <laughs> Apparently, Firebolt burns through lots and lots of rooms really quickly. Slayer task complete. Good riddance to bad rubbish. Hey, Bloodveld. Oh, I'm very happy to have something that's not <laughs> metal dragons. Um, I might actually go do that Bloodveld task. My reasoning is that Bloodveld's dropped insult heads, and insult heads are prayer XP, and if the main goal is prayer XP, that, that will produce it, so. I'm gonna go grab that new soul bearer thing. And can I use a, let's see. Excuse me, can I use a uh, cannon in there? Cannot be used, okay, fine. What ifs? Maybe I'll do this with melee. Those guys are not that threatening. I'll see how it goes. I'll go in with melee, and if it's scary, I'll take something else in later. Bring some nominal food. And the Soul Bearer. That's right. This already has 60 charges. Okay, cool. Melee didn't work, I switched to ranged, taking too much damage and don't want to be paying that much of attention. Leading constantly to get food. Ooh, superior bloodveld. Insatial. Insatiable. That's exciting. We haven't done a task that's had one of these in a while. Okay, what do we get? Bloodveld head, of course. Pizza. Slayer 67, two more to go for the uh, quest cape. And we got an insult head at the same kill. Very cool. I think the total XP I'm getting per hour uh, prayer XP per hour is a little bit worse than dragons, but it's also prayer XP that won't involve me going into the dangerous wilderness, so I'll take it. Got a clue scroll right at the end. I only have six more to go, the chance of me getting another one. It's it's wrong, but I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. It's I wanna go to bed, I'm tired. I'll just pre pretend like there was no additional clue scroll drops in the next six Blood Belt guilds. It's the end of the task, so I'm just gonna pop over to Slayer Master and see what the next task is, and then I'm gonna go to bed. There's still time left in the episode, obviously. It's Turoth again. Well, that's a bummer. I guess they're worth a lot of herbs, and they drop lots of uh, clue scrolls, so... Not all bad. We need the herb lore XP. It's just not a particularly exciting task. Uh, I'm probably going to continue... Uh, when we come back, when I wake up in the morning, I'm probably going to continue working on Dragon Bones. We landed on... Got 154 in the bank. And we need like 600 and change. I'll, I'll do a, a new calculation given the fact that we've got all these blood veld heads now. Should figure out where this got deposited to. Yeah, where... Where did they get deposited to? Seriously. Hold on. I hope they didn't get destroyed. They shouldn't have been. But, uh, tab 9. 
Oh, I just had a section for them up here. Okay, I'm a dummy. Is that my only installed head right now? Oh no. Well, I've got. I can't do anything with these dragon heads. It's like 93 magic or something. I'm never gonna get that. Three Calphite, nine and sold Bloodveld. I'll include that in my calculation, and then we'll uh, figure out how many dragon bones I need. But I think it's like it's like around 639. So there's lots of work remaining to be done. We're like a, a quarter of the way there. Um, but also, I went and did you know steel dragons and then a Bloodveld task. So this this whole episode hasn't been focused on prayer grinding. I'm actually super excited to get 70 prayer because it's going to make me feel more confident about pursuing Grandmaster by hour 800 and uh, getting the Mauritania Diaries is going to make me feel really good about actually going and doing barrows. I feel icky doing barrows without the bonus that comes along with it. Well, I'll be back in a few seconds from your perspective, but for me, I'm going to bed. See ya. Good morning. Let's do this glue scroll and then we'll get some dragon bones and stuff. Finish the first clue step in the wilderness. Always makes you a little nervous. <clears throat> Let's see, next one is... Oh, fuck, it's also in the wilderness. I should have just done it while I was out there. I should have read it before I teleported. Basically somewhere totally different. It would have been faster for me to walk here. I need to crack these obelisks better. Maybe I can just try to randomly teleport to these places. I think I'm going to have to do Major Arena to get there. It's going to suck a little bit. Let me do some farming guild stuff while I'm here, you know. White lilies, I think that requires beating Hespori, so I'm gonna ask for something easier. Limpwort, yep, that's easier. Oh, well I just got a Hespori seed. I'm over here like freaking out about doing this clue scroll. It requires two hard clue items that I don't have, so we're not doing it. Never mind, I should go recharge my skills necklace before we get back to bone collecting, though. So after this run, I'm going to have enough bones to uh, ding a couple times in prayer. And it is pretty early right now, it's 5.19 a.m. Pacific on a Friday which is a little bit more popular, but I feel like now is probably a good time to run a couple of these, spread my risk around a little bit. So I think after I get this inventory full of bones, I'll go uh, get 66 prayer, I think that's right. And then I'll go do my insult heads just so we can better calculate how many bones we need after that. All right, it's about time for me to go offer these bones. Um, a little nervous, more than a little nervous. Got a lot of bones to offer. PKer could be there at any moment. It's kind of hard to keep your attention looking out for a PKer to world hop. But I'm gonna do my damnedest. I gotta go recharge my skills necklace. I feel like having the skills necklace and being able to teleport out at uh, 30 wilderness instead of 20 wilderness really is what makes this possible. I wouldn't feel anywhere near as confident without that. Apparently, and I don't know how I did this, apparently I grabbed my Slayer staff instead of my Lunar staff. Okay. Alright, off we go. Just to check, make sure that items got that depth. Oh, I needed to take the skills necklace back out. That was almost bad. Didn't have a teleport. Glad I checked that before I teleported. That would have been really bad. I think after each of these runs, I should wait and <clears throat> recharge my prayer to full. Totally a good idea. Unfortunately, I can't show you the XP indicator <clears throat> because I have to be ready to world swap. Well, I guess I could use, I've got the world swapper shortcut that I can press, so maybe I can switch over to it here. I'm just trying to watch the mini map for, is it like a big dot? Is it bad news? So stressful. And like, the benefit that there's a chance the bones don't get consumed is genius because it keeps you here for longer, right? If, if the design goal is to make you pray for a predator and stress you out, it does that very well. Get out of here. We learned that if I deplete my run energy at the Chaos Altar, then I can, it'll be back. I'll have enough run energy to be able to skills necklace, basically. I run due south afterward. 
could probably bring a Ring of Dueling too and use that as a um, full restore. Rather than waiting with the Graceful. I don't think I'll do that. It would just, I would lose an extra <coughs> Dragon Bone if I got killed, so not a huge loss. No! I've got someone on me! No, please. I'm finally gonna die. It's game over. I can't stop it. Oh no, I finally died. Oh, I tried to run. 685 hours. And we got killed. It happened so fast, like I didn't see them in the temple. <sighs> I guess that's maybe a legit way to train prayer. Just pop back and forth. Oh, we lost so many bones too. It's basically all we lost, right? I guess I... Uh, interesting. I lost the uh, Ring of Dueling too. Well, there's no fanfare with that. It just kind of happened. I guess uh, I guess I don't have to stress out anymore about the Grand Master quests. I can just go try them, and if I die, I die. Like, it's still kind of impressive to have made it through all the Master Quests in the game without dying. I feel like if I, since I had full energy, if I had noticed them just a second earlier, I probably could have finished the world swap, but I was getting kind of cocky. I was like, it's early enough in the morning, there's no one there. Oh, that blows. Well, I'll try to burn the rest of the, the bones, I guess. It's just funny to me how, like, completely anticlimactic that was. It wasn't like a boss fight I was struggling on. And there's basically nothing I could have done about it, I don't think. I mean, maybe I could have world hopped slightly sooner. But just climbing up the staircase, I didn't even see the little white dot in there. Hopefully they're not still, like, jumping worlds trying to player hunt. We'll see. Yeah, they totally are. Oh, that's an Iron Man. We're okay. I guess maybe having two of us here is good. Spreads the risk around a little bit. The bummer that I lost so many bones, though. Like, think about it. It's not just, oh, it's sad that I died. It's like a good chunk of my dragon killing was a waste of time. I think the more I'm thinking about it, I think this was a good thing. I think that my fear of dying due to not ever, ever having died before in the playthrough, in a blind playthrough, was like really keeping me from wanting to attempt uh, these Grandmaster quests, knowing that I could easily die in them, you know? So now that I know that the danger level is significantly reduced... Oh shit, it's the same person again. I know that's someone else. They didn't try to kill me immediately, so that's cool. Dude, there's so many people chilling here, and I just got teleblocked, didn't I? I'm gonna die again. Well, that's okay. <laughs> this time I have nothing. I've already used everything. It's like they're doing like some kind of like thing where they jump you. Like, they've got multiple people taking you out. It's not just one player. Jesus. It's really frustrating. And this is at 5.44 a.m. They just have like bots or something? It's gotta be pretty lucrative, I guess. If you're just like targeting Iron Men trying to skill up rare. Ugh. I guess I could probably proc the protect item to save an extra bone. Now that I'm thinking for Okay, let's plan for dying now. It's likely that we're going to die multiple times. We're with the 1500. I feel like 1500 skill total is probably a little bit safer just because a higher barrier to entry for bot to be out there, maybe? I don't know. I don't know if bots are the reason I'm dying here. Maybe it's like it's meta to do Wilderness Altar at off hours, so now it's meta to try to murder people during off hours. At least that time, literally nothing of value was lost. I had already offered my bones. No one here this time. <laughs> just My phone just went ding and it made me jump. Very jumpy doing this. Prayer 65, but I gotta keep going. I bet if you're willing to PK people, just sitting here is probably like pretty lucrative for prayer XP. It's had a really dry streak on saving the bones. So I need 81 more. Looking for white dots ahead of time this time. I, may, I should have been doing the 1500 worlds from the beginning. I feel like it makes it harder for them to cheese it a little bit. Shift click thing is really nice. If you hold shift, you can specify what holding shift does. You can change it. So doing drop, you can make it do use. So I can use dragon bones. Pretty sure that that's kosher. I know that, um, so that today is November 8th, and this is way after, um, 
Jagex released their official commentary on third-party clients. They shut down a lot of the stuff that OS Buddy was doing. I guess, I guess OS Buddy had a plugin where you would just click the altar and it would be as though you right-clicked, use, and then clicked on the altar. I'm just super busted. But they haven't said anything about the shift-click plugin. And I know that like Runelight talked directly with Jagex and they decided what to keep and what to toss. So I think we're okay, but who knows? Read to check my calculator each time we do this to see how far behind we're falling. Falling. That second death came so swiftly after the first one. Don't die for 686 hours, including multiple wilderness trips. I spent. How long did we spend here getting the rune crossbow? Several hours. Like I think we we got to drop chance before it finally dropped. 57. Okay, so I'm falling a little bit behind on the. The rate. Okay. Okay, that was largely uneventful. Actually, 1500 is basically empty. <laughs> maybe I never would have died if I had just started on the 1500 worlds. I guess maybe if you're like hunting people, you don't want to go to one that is very limited in the number of people who can be on it. If you're just like world hopping. That's okay. I do think. The more I'm thinking about it, the more at peace I am with dying. I think I've said multiple times in earlier episodes that I wish I would just die already so that I'd stop being freaked out about it. Like, that was a not insignificant factor in uh, me being wanting to delay getting into Grandmaster Quest for so long. It's like, I could just run in there and die. It wasn't the whole factor. We've talked about this, but like the final boss of Song of the Elves just seems like it's not possible with regular healing that you need to have the Ceridoman Bruise. That just like there's too much damage that you take in that fight for you to be able to survive with Tuna Potatoes. So I'm not completely irrational for my way of approaching it. Um, let's see, I need to recharge my skills necklace before we can keep doing this. I feel like I'm gonna come just short, just barely short of. Uh, the level up here. Nope, there's another person. Let me sort by world though. Maybe I can hop between the 1500s only. 420 is a 1500 skill world. I feel like this has got to be like super meme -y, right? Per 66, I have to keep going right through it. I feel like you make a big enough number of offerings here that it likely does equal out to be about 50-50, whether you get to keep the bone or not. I mean, it, anything that's true that has a large of a sample size, that's just how statistics work. But I guess what I mean is, like, if I'm projecting that I need to offer 600 bones, I'm not going to go way over or under um, the 50% chance. Like, it's almost... When I, when I predict how many bones I'm going to need, it's going to be fairly accurate. It, I guess technically that time I came in, like, 10 or 15 bones up because I lost 27 of them to that uh, that PKer, you know, whatever. All right, cool. Well, that was what we intended to do was get to 66 at five something in the morning. Um, <laughs> didn't didn't work out exactly how I was planning, but uh, it's not the end of the world. Actually, going to be a good thing. I'm going to be more willing to take risks now. It was a stupid, irrational thing for me not want to not wanting to die before. Now that irrationality has been removed from the equation. People have been talking about death in the Discord for a while. They're like, you know, it's, this game's super easy because there's basically no death penalty and you can just attempt things over and over. I'm like, Haha, yeah, yeah, it's really easy. We actually did talk about uh, early, I don't think I ever mentioned this on the channel, but um, there was some discussion that Going Tin Man might be a good idea. Like I was, I was kind of feeling bad that this account's not Iron Man because I'm very close to following Iron Man rules. The main difference is that I'm making gold quite a bit more quickly. But I, I guess I could have just been an Iron Man and bought like a bond or something and accomplished the same thing. Um, but anyway, we were saying like, well, what if you have a death and you lose a lot of items? Those items are really hard to get. Like, would you allow yourself to then go on the grand exchange and buy those items back? And I think my answer was maybe. That doesn't sound too unreasonable. Uh, I'm not going to buy back those 27 dragon bones. That wasn't that big of a deal. I feel like that's just part of the risk of going out there. But it's worth thinking about. 
you know, if we have a death upcoming. I, I think most of the really dangerous instances in the last three Grandmaster quests are, um, oh, what's the word? They're, they're safe. They're not all the way safe. Like, you still lose your stuff, but there's, like, an NPC that you can buy your shit back from that's outside. Anyway, I'm heading back to fight some more dragons. Let's see. Uh, to get to 70, I need 476 bones. Yikes. Uh, just to get one level up. I'm gonna try to alternate it here. I'm guessing time of day isn't really going to be that big of a help like I thought it was. I need 99 bones. So, yeah. 99. We'll bounce and go do that. I almost died again. <laughs> I think I, I forgot to bring the dragon fire shield. Wow. Okay, well this run I'll only fight the one dragon, which is fairly safe. Usually I run out there a couple times. I took like 20 something damage. I didn't realize they hit that hard without the shield. Dang. Dude, I seriously almost just died again. Unbelievable. Okay, don't let them hit you with that. Uh, let me go get a dragon shield. Jesus. All caution being thrown to the wind now. I'm just playing like a complete moron. <laughs> I didn't really celebrate it when it happened. We hit 75 magic during the Steel Dragon task. That's another quest cape requirement. Getting pretty close. Oh wow, the person who PK'd me, I didn't even have public text on, said, give me bones. Yeah. Just got a hard clue scroll. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. We'll be back. Womp womp, ruin her all to come. Uh, it happens. I'm going to quickly pop over to the farming guild and just check on my progress with the farming contract. There's another player here farming bones. I'm just going to pick up all theirs for one trip to kind of make up for the wilderness one. It's not the same as buying it. I happen to be in the same room as them. Okay, I'm going to do like two more trips in this episode, and then we're going to go uh, get the next level of prayer. Hey, it's another hard clue scroll, and I think I have enough bones now. Um, so even though it looks like it's the end of the episode, I'm going to take a quick break before I do the clue scroll. I'm going to do the clue scroll, and I'm going to turn in these bones, get to the next level of prayer. Be back in a couple seconds. Right. I am back. Let's go do this uh, hard clue scroll, and then we'll turn in all these bones, and then I'll wrap the episode. I really got to make some more dig site pendants later. I need gold for it. Is the problem? Um, <clears throat> I guess maybe soon-ish upcoming episode, maybe after this prayer grind, I'll finish getting uh, smithing to 70, which is going to involve gold bars, and I'll set aside some chunk of the gold bars for making um, teleport jewelry, because I should be able to make just tons of it. I got all the rubies, sapphires, and emeralds I'll ever need, and diamonds even, from um, fighting those Gorax for the Artie Hard Diary. I still need to sit and just steal stuff. Like, I'm planning on doing almost an entire episode of non-stop master farmer thieving to raise money for construction 70. 
That should be a pretty quick skill to finish once I have the money for it. Uh, actually, I'll probably need to do that right before smithings. I think we calculated that I need a million gold to get the gold bars for that. So, after Prayer 70, some amount of thieving is probably coming soon. Hopefully mixed with something more interesting like Barrows. Alright, casket time, what we get? Nothing. Garbage. Oh well. Can't all be winners. I'm gonna go on an alchemy spree later. Stuff I've got in the bank. Okay, now it's time to do the scary thing and go out to the, uh, the wilderness. So I'm going to see. It would be really nice if we could do this without ever getting killed. Not holding my breath, but wouldn't that be swell? I might have to craft another burning amulet. I will have to soon, but I don't think I have to do it like right away. I'll leave myself off mute for this just in case anything interesting happens, you know? I'm getting PK'd right now. I'm going to try to finish doing what I can with my leftover bones. Okay. They did kill me, <laughs> but I got to bury most of the bones. I lost two bones. <laughs> Damn. Came over and meleeed me right after. Irritating. Probably should have activated the protect item for I could have saved one more bone. Oh well. So, first episode we die, die three times. Possibly more, right? Alright, projected remaining bones. 103, that can't be right. 77. Okay, so I'm down five from not burying three of them there. So maybe I'll luck out. If I don't quite make it, I'll maybe I'll bring some big bones out there or something. God damn it. Teleblock spell has been cast on you. Can it not have been cast on me, please? Now I've got a full inventory of bones. It's a really annoying thing that could happen. That's a good reason to have full run energy when we come out here, apparently. Teleblock shit is super annoying. Well, it feels pretty good to have escaped once, I guess. Maybe you can climb that from this side. Just gotta wait out the teleblock. So maybe the skill total worlds aren't great, after all. Oh, if I world hop, it drops the teleblock? Is that true? I'll try heading this way and see if I can make it. This might be a bad idea. I lost my ring of dueling. That's funny. Let's just play it safe. I'm gonna go get another ring of dueling and try again. Let's start bringing my one charge rings of dueling, right? I end up alking it anyway. Instead of losing an eight charge. But what makes PKers choose one world or the other? What's their strategy? Murder strategy. Might be that my combat level is just getting high enough that I'm actually, like, fresh meat, you know? Okay. It's quite a bit faster if I zoom in like this really close to my inventory. Super hard to watch the minimap when you're doing this, though. Especially when you're this zoomed in. You put on protection from magic while I'm doing it. May as well, right? That protects me from getting, uh... Teleblocked, maybe? Sure. That was pretty safe. Okay, let's get out of here. Still not sure that we're going to get the level up because of losing a couple bones there, but we'll see. Got 46 left. What's the new projection? 48. Yeah, I'll probably have to do one other quick thing. That's okay. That was a chaos druid, not another player. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. I gotta refill the skills necklace after this. Alright, let's 
Let's check the new projections. Twenty-six. I don't remember how many I left behind. I have Nineteen left, so I'll bring some big bones with me. God damn it, that's annoying. Oh, I got so close to getting away that time, and then they said bye. I got to like 31 wilderness. Oh god, that fucking sucks. You lose so much time. Ugh. Is this really worth it? Like, I, sh I thought about doing the Ectofunctus, but the difference in XP rates were so good. Like, I should have just continued offering the bones. That was so fucking sucky. I guess I could finish off 67 with these Bloodveld heads. That makes me really sad, though. I just brought a small amount of food, right? Yeah, I'll go do these and sold heads really quick. It just it does not feel good. <laughs> Maybe I've been talking from a place of great privilege to say I like the predator-prey relationship in the wilderness, having not yet died in the wilderness. It's a risk you take, though. It's like I can't pretend like I didn't take the risk. That lost me like 30 plus minutes of grinding. Wouldn't have been so bad if I had just gotten instant nuked at the altar. It was because I made it so close to escaping. I was like a couple steps away from level 30 wilderness. So I'm learning how to deal with PvP too. Like, I feel like if I had never dropped protection from magic, I may have been okay if I had just ran from there. I tried switching to protection from range, and that was a mistake. Range can hit me pretty hard, but like magic is it's what's gonna stop me from getting away, right? Freeze and teleblock and all that fun stuff. Prayer 67. Three more levels to go, and then I probably won't ever like focus train prayer again. And associate prayer with dying four times. Um, I'm curious really quick. How many more dragon bones I would need? 376. That's a lot. If I did Ecto Functus, 657. Okay. I don't know. It's hard to consider the, the time loss from dying, whether it's really that much better or not. I don't know. Part of that is I screwed up. I didn't have the shift clipped option on Zogar Bones, so I kept dropping them by accident. And then, like, while I was trying to fix that, the person showed up and murdered me. Alright, well, that'll be our wrap point. Um, <laughs> at first death, I was pretty chill about. Like I said, I was kind of just hoping I was going to die so I wouldn't be stressed out about it anymore. Uh, the other two were inconsequential, but the one at the very end, I think I lost less than the first death where I lost all my bones. Uh, but it felt really awful. <laughs> Uh, did not feel good, and I guess it's good that I had a bad feeling PK death with the person taunting me and me trying to run away and all that, because uh, I feel like that's part of the RuneScape experience, and I've sort of like skated by by not getting PK'd while I've been doing wilderness stuff this whole time. Like I got one close call really early in the playthrough, and then didn't actually see the real risk of it until doing this altar thing. So kind of a bummer. Um, I mentioned, probably when I announced Tin Man, I don't remember how much of this I actually covered on stream because we never actually died to discuss it, but you know, in an early conversation, Chaos Factory was the viewer on Twitch that recommended um, not doing Iron Man. And one of his big reasons for recommending that was like, well, if you die uh, and you're Iron Man, it could be really hard to recover if you like, permanently lose a bunch of rare gear that's difficult to find. And having the option of going back to the Grand Exchange to get it back is, is a useful one. Um, so far, I haven't really been enjoying the benefits of being a Tin Man rather than an Iron Man. Like, I've been enforcing it on the account so harshly that it's really just been a source of early income. And at this stage in the game, I'd probably be getting plenty of income from Slayer if I were a true Iron Man just from, just from Alking. Um, so I'm going to think about before the next episode whether I'm comfortable with buying back the bones that I just lost due to being PK'd, 
and say, hey, I earned them, you know, and like I'm still paying a cost for getting PK'd. The cost is just uh, in gold rather than in, in time. I know that can be kind of a slippery slope. Let me figure out like what I'd be expecting to pay. So I lost 27 the first time. I'll have to look at the VOD to see how many I lost after that, but let's just go as crazy as it could be and say it's 54. Yeah, it'd be 143,000 gold to recoup my death losses, and that's a pretty significant hit to my current uh, cash stack. So I might do that. I don't think that's outside of the spirit of Tin Man. Um, like, it doesn't mean that I risked nothing by going into the wilderness. I still am losing money, but I'd rather, you know, lose gold in that case than lose another... That's a, that's like an hour of time at Blue Dragons that I could be spending doing something else. Um, but I hear myself say that, and it's the exact... It's, this is the reason that I wanted to do Tin Man or Iron Man in the first place, is I hate doing this time value calculation, right? I like earning stuff for myself. I don't like saying, well, I could do five hours collecting herb lore stuff, or I could do one hour thieving and then spend the gold on buying herbs to level up herb lore, you know? Uh, at the end of this episode, I feel about 50-50 on it. Um, I do think it's reasonable. I don't think it's insane to just buy back those bones and buy back any future bones that are lost and, and establish this as an official rule, whether it was official or not before, that death might lead to buying back items depending on what's lost. You know, if it's if it's trivial or interesting to get the stuff back, we can go get it back normally. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. This was an eventful episode. <laughs> Went from dying zero times for 680 hours to dying four times in one episode, but I guess that's just the reality of the Wilderness Altar. Uh, I'm going to pop off, and we'll see you next episode. Thanks. Hey, welcome to another new episode. Today we're going to be doing some more prayer grinding. Um, we might be able to finish the prayer grind today and then finish the Mauritania Hard Diary, after which I want to start working on getting everything else we need to get to 70 uh, for the Grandmaster quest requirements and the quest cape in general. Also, I want to do Barrows. That's the main reason we're doing Prayer 70 right now is because I feel like Barrows makes more sense when we are fully kitted out. Um, Last episode, I was talking about whether or not I was going to buy back all those bones. So if you missed the last episode, I died four times. I went from no deaths for 680 hours to dying four times in the wilderness while I was offering bones to the wilderness altar. Um, and technically under Tin Man, I think it, it's fair. It's not unreasonable to buy back uh, items that are lost on death. Right. Because it, there's still a cost, you're still paying gold for having died. It's not that the risk is completely mitigated. And it's saying there is something a little bit different in difficulty between a Tin Man and an Iron Man account. We don't need to go all the way, let's pretend like it's Iron Man, because it, it totally isn't, right? Like, we've been selling stuff to the Grand Exchange this whole time, and like I've been able to level Fletching really high because I've been able to sell the results of Fletching to the Grand Exchange. Uh, anyway, I think I'm okay with it is the short version of it. I think I'm going to do it. I watched the VOD. I calculated exactly how many bones I lost. Uh, I lost three bones one time, 12 bones another time, 27 another time, three Zogar bones, and five big bones. And just to play it safe, I'm going to buy a couple fewer than what I just listed. So 27. We're just going to get 40 dragon bones, and I'll get the big bones and the Zogar bones as well. If I lose these, I mean, I guess I could keep doing it over and over, buying them back, but at what point is it ridiculous, you know? It was only five big bones, right? I've got it paused over here. Yeah, I guess so. I'll probably just take them straight out there to get it over with, you know? I wonder if I'm going to be buying some of these back from the people who killed me. Do you think they're using them for prayer XP, or they're just using it for money? It's a pretty lucrative kill. I bet it's like one of the most lucrative kills you can get in the wilderness camping people going to the altar. All right, well, if I'm going to go out there again. I got to go out with this set here. Um, I might bring some really shitty throwaway gear if I still am sitting on any of it, just to kind of marginally improve my chance of survival if I get ambushed. If I lose it, I lose it, you know. But I also think I've thrown out most of my like budget gear, or I don't have multiple copies of it anyway. See, stuff that I absolutely do not care about. 
There's not a lot of it. <laughs> I care about most of this stuff, unfortunately. I mean, I could bring a black dehyde. I wonder how much just two pieces would matter. We've got three of one and five of the other. Let's try it. Why the hell not? I need to make another burning amulet before I can do this, though, don't I? Yeah. Or I could go through Trollheim. Because there's two places I'm in danger if I go through... Um, there's two places that I'm in danger if I go through the Burning Amulet Teleport. Uh, but the issue, if I go to Trollheim, I need multiple inventory spaces to be able to teleport there. Uh, I could bring the Achievement Diary kit, but I think that that stuff... To go back and like manually recover all of it? It'd be annoying. Nah, I'm not going to bother. Alright, let me make this uh, Burning Amulet. If the predator-prey relationship is a good one, then this whole concept of, oh, the way this is good is that sometimes it takes you longer to burn all your bones is quite genius. I think I was just salty at the end of the last episode because I was sad. Okay. So we managed to use the first set of bones that I bought back from dying. Did earn those bones. Or picked like 13 of them up from that other guy that was doing like Slayer in the same room with me, but that's always been okay for Tin Man. I guess once I go around to making all this blue dehyde stuff to level crafting, I could pump a bunch of it into um, just making a, a full kit, you know, blue dehyde chaps, van braces, and body, and just have a stack of those for bringing into the wilderness if I need to. I don't know. I don't know if it's really going to make a difference. It seems like these characters are so much stronger than we are right now. As long as I get through all the dragon bones, it's fine. Like, bones are really easy to replace. They don't take a minute per bone. We're gonna make it, okay. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, there's someone out there. Thanks. Oh, that must be a uh, scout, I'm guessing. That's why the door was closed, so I couldn't see them. Now, what's the calculation show us? So to get to the next level, we need 71 more bones, okay. And you get to 70, which is the stopping point, 334 bones. We'll just plan if we die to buy them back. Seems reasonable. Hey, so I'm at least going to do this. I'm going to go ahead and... Um, Add to the spreadsheet, so I have the Tin Man tracker that shows everything we bought from the Grand Exchange that we have to pay back. I'm going to add the stuff that we bought to buy back from Death. Uh, I'll add that to the list and I'll specify, hey, we bought this because we died. And then I might add that as an optional payback option at the end, just so that it's the same kind of rule set. It's possible that I'll, between you know my current level of Slayer and 69 Slayer, that I'll get assigned to Dragons again and get enough bones back that I could just sell them right back to the Grand Exchange. Because I don't really, like I said, I don't intend to level prayer beyond 70. I just want it for these uh, these diaries and mainly the Mauritania diary. Anything beyond that seems kind of excessive. Because I think all of the like extra prayers you can learn, like Rigor and Augury, like you have to buy them or something, or you have to like run raids to get them. But we'll be able to use Piety in the movie. That would be helpful right out the, ga the gate there. That makes me feel a little bit better about it. Something I can still pay back if I really feel like we should later. Okay, so I theoretically have enough bones to get another level up in prayer, so I'm gonna go give it a try. It breaks up the dragons a little bit. If I were to bring welfare here, what could I bring? I'm gonna try bringing the, the diary set, just for fun. If I have to recover it one time, that's not the end of the world. I mean, it would be annoying, but... Looks like we don't doesn't screw with what gets kept if we die, so that's good. Let's try that 
one German server again. Blast furnace one. And hopefully that's inconspicuous enough. I guess we'll find out. Alright, off we go. Fingers crossed. There was someone there, but they ran away. Just run. Just run. Oh, God, Jesus Christ. Oh dear, you are dead. My armor was completely useless. And now I have to get it all back, don't I? Holy shit. How does that work? Like... Do I have to pay to get it back? Or do I just have to go talk to a shitload of people? It's so frustrating. I don't remember who any of these characters are, so hold up. Uh, achievement, Diary, Cape, I think you give me a list of the NPCs. It's all buyback that I just lost 25 bones. Spend the gold on it. It sucks that that was my first run in there to spend it too. This sucks, I hate this. <laughs> it's, but it's like, if I do the Ecto Functus, it, it doubles the time, right? Like, no, it, it only doubles, it doubles the number of bones we need. Like, the actual time it takes to run the Ecto Functus is much worse. I have another shield. So I just have to go track them all down. Oh, Jesus. I wonder if I can do the drop trick to, like, bank several of them, you know? Just so that if I can at least bring this set without having to make this run every single time. Looks like I can do that. Can I do it without... Oh, I can just do it at the NVC. Alright, just do that then. I can always have at least a small amount of gear. Just do ten of each item if we can. Taking up the same amount of space in the bank regardless, you know? Is it Charlie, was it? Toby. Just replaced my lost 27 bones and I'm adding them on my 10 man list of things that I recovered due to death. I'm not gonna bother with like the burning emulator or that other shit. You'll get 10 uh, fermentic boots, and then we're going to try this again in a different world, apparently. I, just, I don't know anymore. <laughs> it's like you need to get three in a row where there's nobody there. There's got to be bot, like scout bots or something. Like I just need to be jumping worlds whenever I see a dot in any way. I feel like they should probably restrict world hopping in the wilderness. Like The fact that a person can spawn on top of you and just instantly kill you is super frustrating you know it's also it's got to be frustrating for the pvpers as well that like if you notice them from far enough away that you can world hop and they don't even see you i guess next time it happens i could try logging out and see if it's enough it's like if i'm gonna die anyway you know all right let's try again in a different world i guess um let's try the australian 1250 skill total world why not Skill total worlds might be a trap though. Let's try just doing the house party world that seems randomish. My heart starts pounding every time I get here now. Like it used to the first time I ever went in the wilderness way back in like Majorino 1. I just want it to be over, you know? Even the time I'll have to spend to farm to get the money back that I'm spending on replacing these bones. Huge difference from going back into the dungeon and just fighting another 27 dragons, right? Successful offering run, deaths. Scope the farming guild real quick while I'm here as well. Cactus isn't grown. I could pick the herb, but I kind of just want to get this over with. It feels like gambling, and I'm sure it's like this for the PvPers too. It's like, did I luckily pick the right world, <laughs> right? Or I'm going to get harassed, or in their case, I pick the right world where a player is. It's like, if they find me, they basically win. I escaped one time, but I was already running when I got there. Make sure that I'm prepared here. We're good. Tried putting on extra prayers this time, protect item and uh, chivalry. See if my prayer completely drains before I'm done or not. I guess I'll be refilling it at the altar, so I may as well put multiples on. Maybe I can put them on quick prayer for next time. So stressful. My hands are shaking while I'm trying to click. Look out. It looks like I can manage that, so I should make that my quick prayer for this run. I want chivalry, protect from magic, protect item. I don't think there's anything else that can really help me. Okay. 
26 actions projected, and I have 23 banked, so I'll take them there, and I guess I'll bring some regular bones too and see if we get lucky. I gotta recharge this skill necklace first, though. Off we go. One more time for this level, hopefully. I get it. That is a regular, that is a mob attacking me. I heard the shink noise, and I was like, oh my god. I jumped up in my seat. Maybe House Party World is a good idea? I could that just be lucky. I don't think it's there's any pattern at all. Not very lucky that time in terms of the bones not getting consumed, actually. Still need 3,000 XP. Didn't get harassed three times in a row, though. That's cool. I was able to... The ones I died and then bought back, I was able to reuse, like, immediately. So that's good. Go ahead and pick this herb now and replant it. Oh, here's 63 herb lore, by the way. Super Restore Potions. We're going to need lots of those. Been doing lots of herb cleaning. How we got to that. Again, before I go back to dragons, I'm going to take a shower and take a break. So I'm going to step away. This diary gear. So I have a magic penalty, but if I have Protect from Magic on, it's okay. It might help a little bit with the other things. I'm guessing those other players are just have like insanely high accuracies, though. All right, I will be back in a few seconds. Uh, might see if the... Well, when is the cactus supposed to finish growing? Oh, not until after stream is over. Okay, that takes longer than I thought it did. Uh, we'll come back. We'll do some more dragons. Um, calculation, let's see. Rerun it one more time. We're on the home stretch. Like, we're basically 68, so we only really need two more levels. Yeah, so 132 more bones. That's not bad at all. It's very... Oh, that's to, six... that's to 69. <laughs> 70, 270, that's still not too bad. So we'll continue. I'm so excited. I'm looking forward to being done with uh, 70 prayer so we never have to fuck with prayer ever again. And we're even going to get an item called the Bone Crusher that will like passively train prayer so we literally don't have to think about it. It'll be super slow, but it'll be more than the zero, right? Okay, uh, see you in a few. Yo, I'm back and I forgot to hit start recording. I didn't go anywhere. I was just, you no, know, managing my bank. You notice I've deposited everything. Oh. Missed a couple seconds of me putting stuff that was in my inventory into the bank. Forgot the dragon fire shield again. Um, I'll just keep an eye on it. Hopefully I can make it through one trip and then grab it on my way back. Hey, it's another hard clue scroll. Let's check it out. One bridge guide. Make sure to grab the uh, <clears throat> Dragonfire Shield while I'm out here. Did I make? Did I make a whole trip without? Man, I was on autopilot. I made a whole trip and didn't grab the Dragonfire Shield on my way back. Lucky I'm not dead. Very lucky indeed. All right. Um. Food. Any poison thing. Rest of my runes. Whew, we can do this one. Diamond ring, amulet of power, nothing on chest and legs. And Karamja. Iron Karamja, that's big. Ah, I see. Let's do a charter ship. I must have built this stash, right? Let me double check. I did not because of the amulet of power. Okay. So I'll build it while I'm out there and get the resources for it. Am I really not sitting on any diamond rings? I think I can craft them, but 125 diamonds. Yeah, I'll go make one real quick. Uh, I think it's this gold bar plus ring wool plus diamond. Can I make the amulet of power too? Oh no, I think I'm a couple levels away from being able to do that. From scratch. It's two tea clogs and some nails. Got my saw and hammer. Hate my life. <laughs> I'll just let it go. Hey, it's casket time. What we get? Nothing great. <laughs> Money, I guess.
this. I can just, I'll just alcohol this now before I deposit it. Nothing exciting, I should say. Need money though. Gotta pay for these dragon bones I keep losing when I die. Hey, the uh, air fryer is going in my kitchen. It's super loud, so I'm just going to shut up. I'm going to go get my Nightmare Zone boxes, and we're going to come back and get bones. Shock! Whoops, you probably noticed this on the fast forward, but uh, in my haste to get things started with the air fryer running, I completely forgot to start the timer. So I gotta calculate what it should be. I'm gonna take my time with it this time. Last time I calculated it, I screwed it up. Uh, I know how long I've been recording, so I'll just add that onto the timer and make it go here soon. I think I got the timing right. So real quick before we continue, um, I need to go do some things for the Mauritania Hard Diary. There's two farming tasks that are going to take time to complete. So I need to get started on them like now. So I'm going to pop at the uh, farming guild really quick. I really like the skills necklace. What was I doing without it? Get the uh, seeds we need. Turn in my current farming contract as well, assuming the cactus didn't die. Looks like it made it. Alright, so what I've done on fast forward there is I have uh, planted watermelons on Harmony Island, and I've planted a mushroom spore and cannabis. Uh, and then I need to cut a log here and then burn it. Going through the cave horror cave. Cool. All right, I think we can go with good conscience. Go back to what we were doing. I wanted to have that running while I'm doing prayer. I had to finish chewing, just got a uh, clue scroll. Let's go do that. One of these days we'll get a really good one. I feel like my first few hard clue scrolls were extremely good. And since then, then I've gotten them some okay ones, but nothing as insanely good as those early ones. Am I lagging out the moment I dug? Fuck. Or did it just give me a new clue scroll? Hold on. It just gave me a new list roll. That was super confusing. Okay. Great. Wilderness Chaos Temple. Awesome. Where's this one? Oh, it's in there. Uh, of course it is. Oh, golly. I think I've done this clue before, too. <sighs> okay. Yes, I'll end up going with slightly okay gear. Bring the skills necklace, although that might not be my thing that I end up saving. I'll have to check that. I don't want to risk losing it. Now I understand just how scary that part of the wilderness is, too. I don't think I really appreciated that before. Well, I was talking to Mute for a long time. Um, I don't know when... I don't know how long I was talking on mute, but the clue scroll is in the fucking temple <laughs> that I now have non-clinical PTSD for, so I'm bringing probably too many resources, and hopefully I don't get screwed over because of that. 
my thought was maybe people would be less willing to go toe to toe with me if they see that I've got any kind of gear, but just... this place is seriously freaked me out. And it's like Friday night. It's like 7.30 on a Friday night. This is a really bad idea. I feel like I've opened the floodgates for dying, you know. No one here. Try to get it over with quickly. My heart pounds whenever I get to this building now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Forgot I still had the inventory tag setting turned on. It was way not cool. Oh, the radar group, perfect. There's the casket. No blocking emote steps. What do we get? Nothing. Well, um, not nothing. It's not exciting, but we, uh, we needed more black dehyde chaps. We didn't need them, but now I guess I can risk black dehydes even more. I will probably never be able to craft them, but I think I have enough from clue scrolls now that I can very safely take them into like a difficult boss or even into the wilderness and probably come out okay. Right. Yeah, because we're up to five chaps and six bodies, so it's not terrible. Time to go back to Dargons. Ranged 82. It's getting slow. It's 11 hours to the next range level at this XP rate. I think it's like 12 hours for hit points level, and we're already halfway there. So I think 80 hit points is probably where we're going to stop before we attempt the Grandmaster quests. I'm going to I'm gonna sh take a shot at doing them uh, by hour. Okay, so I'll share my thoughts. Uh, I like the aesthetics of finishing the playthrough on either episode 100 or because it's RuneScape on episode 99. Uh, that might be pushing it. I think I can get the minimum stats to get there. But I would definitely want to devote an entire episode to each of the Grand Master quests. I don't think they each take eight hours, but I want to make sure that I've got tons of time to catch up on stuff and do multiple attempts and that sort of a thing. So that only gives us... Not a lot? Eighty-two more hours... Eighty-one more hours from right now to wrap up the playthrough. So, now that I'm not afraid of dying, now that I'm okay to go in and die and then recover my items and try again, um, I might try to do that sooner. <laughs> I might, a after I get this uh, Prayer 70, we check out Barrows a little bit, I might try to, like, brute force wrap up the remaining skills that we have to get to the quest point level. So that's uh, Smithing 70. I've done this so much now that it's like, I, I, I know it. Smithing 70... Herblore 70, um, Crafting 70, Slayer 69, Farming 70, Construction 70, and Hunter 70. That's going to be very doable within 82 hours. Um, the biggest concern, I think, is going to be making money. Now, it might not be doable in 82 hours if I keep doing other stuff like what I'm doing right now. Excuse me, getting to 70 prayer. And I still wanted to get to 75 defense before we attempt it. Um, so we'll continue to play around with that plan as we go. You know, as as y'all know by this point, like, I'm making this shit up as I go along. <laughs> and uh, I'll often declare a plan and then go in a completely different direction. Like, this playthrough has morphed from being about 400 to 500 to 600 to 700 to 800 hours long. And it could end up being longer. So... I just know that my live split timer can't fit a thousand hours, so it has to stop by then. 
Uh, let's see. In any case, we got about an hour left in this episode. I'm going to go take a break. I've just now banked enough uh, bones in order to get to 69 prayer, assuming that we don't get killed and blah, blah, blah. If we do get killed, I'll just buy the bones back. I think the, the more time has passed since I made the initial purchase, the more happy I am with that decision and the more I think that that was the right thing to do. Um, but I'll be back in a few seconds from your perspective to do this last hour or so of uh, bone grinding, trying to get up to have enough to get to 70, and then we'll just try to take them all down to the altar at once. Um, I'm going to try to get up early again because I could definitely see the difference between the altar at 2 or 3 in the morning and the altar at you know 7 or 8 in the morning. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Thanks. Good morning, it's uh, like 1.44 in the morning Pacific time, 2.44 for me. Uh, so I don't think there's ever going to be a better time for me to try to do non-peak uh, bone running. So I'm going to go give it a shot, I'm going to run the bones that I got, uh, we'll come back and uh, continue getting bones for the final level. So let's do that. One here yet. Hoping that the achievement diary gear plus the prayers is gonna help me. Let's see. Maybe just the fact that it's late, no one will be here. Probably wishful thinking. Sixty-eight prayer, but I gotta keep going. Maybe this is just the key. Maybe I could have avoided dying by just getting up earlier. <laughs> stupid. But I can't draw any conclusions, like, it's just a chance, it feels like. You roll the dice every time you come here. Is there someone scouting? Are they on the right world the moment that you pop over? You know. Promising, though. Charge that in a sec. Is it growing for Jinkerberry? That's right. White lilies. Nope. Haven't done this for yet. Ranar, yeah. No problem. Though so it's asking me to do something crazy expensive. Pay 50k. It's okay, I got two Ranar seats from doing these contracts, so. No major loss. Maple seed. Did I bank all my rakes? Man, I'm so bad about the tool leprechaun. So no other players. I guess it, if you just calculate part of the risk is I'm gonna have to buy some of these back. Some money. Not quite as bad. Come on, go in that fucking house. What are you doing? I'm holding ship for this, by the way. There is a rune light um, thing that got published, or there's a blog that got published from Jagex today that said that everything in Runelight is kosher, and I, like, it's kind of confusing because it seems like there's a, a much worse plugin in OS Buddy that makes it so you just click the altar with bones in your inventory and you offer all of them by spam clicking. You don't have to, like, click and do this thing that I'm doing right now. But I think it's fine. All I've done is I've shift click. I've changed it so that when I hold shift, I use do use instead of drop. Oh, I don't know. It's not really saving me that much time from right clicking. Just reducing the chance that I accidentally left click and bury it, you know. That went pretty well. Well, shit, maybe... Maybe I could have had a no deaths playthrough. No, I'm gonna die during Grandmaster quests. That's probably good that I died earlier. Shouldn't get all nervous. Also, I've got two data points suggesting that two in the morning is safe. I need more data to draw any conclusions, I think. Whoa, I had the Lunar Staff for that whole run. That's not good. Let's not risk that. Run it again, so I don't see anybody. Kitties! Check on the kitties after this run. There, since they're wrestling, but... 
Marty may have gotten his foot stuck or something. If this is really the meta of just wake up at 2 in the morning, <laughs> it's really silly. I feel extra justified in just buying the bones back. It's like your XP rates in this game vary based on the time of day because of the way PvP works. Oh, there's someone here. They tried to lock me in. And they just meleeed me. I should have just kept... So much for that! So much for that whole concept. <sighs> should have just kept going for it. I don't think I had a way out of it. God, how do they hit so fucking hard, even when I have some armor on? I guess the armor is supposed to make them less likely to hit, but I've never seen them hit for zero. And just like one unlucky hit ever. Okay, I don't know how many bones I lost there, so I know that I spoke too soon. Um, I'm going to keep offering bones, and then I'm going to split the recording and go back and watch the VOD and see how many I lost, and I'll buy that many back. I'd have a couple splits in this episode. So two in the morning is not that great. It's just luck. It's just, did you happen to be there offering bones the moment someone world hopped caught you? I tried this on this house party server. I've been pretty lucky so far, not getting caught on it. I'm going to try the house party server. I've been pretty lucky so far, not getting caught on it. Protect Itamon was nice. Spared a bone. One singular bone. I love how they close the door behind them and make it harder for you to exit. It's such a dick move. God damn it. Don't. Oh, I think this guy's just. Also an Iron Man? Okay. Hopefully it's not a scout, also. Spreads my risk around a little bit, which is nice. Alright, I'm gonna see how many bones I lost. 13 bones. Um, that's not enough for a full run. Ooh. But I guess it's less risky. I guess I could bring some regular bones. Yeah, whatever. I guess that's another thing. Maybe I can spread out... Is it smart to spread out my risk and bring fewer bones per run? I'm not sure, because I feel like if you luck out and there's no one there, you get more bones through. The question is, I guess you want to expose yourself as little as possible. I was literally just looking at the bot. Hold on. Literally just said it out loud. You heard me say it, you probably remember what I said. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Don't want to... Don't want to buy things that we didn't earn earlier. Alright, I need money. I will have 14 once I get out there with those... And after I ding 69 prayer, it'll just be the last stretch for bone farming. And then we never have to do this again. I really don't think there's anything else that I am kind of interested in prayer for. I'm curious, actually, what is the maximum prayer requirement for diaries? Achievement diaries. Oh, I should check on my farming patches before I do too much more here. After I do this last bone run. 85 prayer for something. Not boostable. Restore 85 prayer points when praying at the altar in Sofnum. Oh, okay. Wow, and that is that is the very next prerequisite. Like, all the other diaries are 70 or lower. So that's to get the Desert Elite diary, but I could do every other diary with 70 prayer. Okie doke. Um... Let me add these, before I forget, let me add these uh, 13 bones on my tin man list. So I'm probably just going to be okay with saying, hey, I, you know, I'm just going to buy back stuff I lose on death, but... So we've lost 80 bones total. Bought back 80 bones total. Which I think something was like, it was like 700 total that we need to bring out here to go from the prayer we started at to 70. So if you, on average, lose about 10% to PKers, depending on your luck. 
son of a bitch. Wow. Well, this has happened before. I might try to pick it up. I wonder how this works when people leave their bones behind like this. Like, what's actually happening? Someone's getting PK'd and then the other person who PK'd them get PK'd before they can loot them or something? Not super clear on it. Prayer 69, but we gotta keep going. Can't stop, won't stop. Okay, that was pretty good. I think I actually needed the bones that were on the ground in order to meet the skill calculator, because I got some really unlucky runs of uh, no duplicate bones. Let's do our final calculator here. 129 more bones, and then we're donezo. Very, very, very exciting indeed. Okay, so I'm gonna go do a bunch of things. I'm gonna check on farming. I'm gonna check on the, the diary task for farming. And we'll get back into bones mode. One's with the Ectofunctus, the other one was near Canifus. Go ahead and grab seeds just in case they died. Recharge my skills necklace too. I think the watermelon made it, so that's good. I've had bad luck with harvesting uh, in this patch in particular. The mushrooms grew just fine too, perfect. Okay, so those are the two annoying Mauritania diary tasks. The ones that require a lot of time once you get started. You just review what else is on the list. So we have to make a carol portal in the player own house, which I'm glad the game is directing me to do that. I've been puzzled about portals in the player own house for a while, and it's probably driving people crazy that I got to a construction level to build them and then never made any. Um, I think the intent is that you make portals in your house to places that you need other spellbooks for, which makes perfect sense. But I wasn't super clear on, like, the, the wiki's not super clear on the best strategy to approach that, and it seemed like it was an expensive thing to experiment with, if that makes sense. Uh, but that'll probably get me comfortable enough with that step that I can do the rest of it. I feel like that's the purpose of an achievement diary, is to draw you to content you might not have attempted otherwise. I'm the advanced spike chain in the Slayer Tower, lead a temple trek with a hard companion, probably actually get me to see what temple trekking's like. Pray at the Altar of Nature with Piety activated, which is why we need 70 prayer. Okay, uh, it is time to go fight dragons one more time. I hope. After that, I'm hoping that we can focus on Slayer and finish it off. Or this XP waste. Fighting stuff that's not also giving me Slayer XP. Patient player would just get to 99 Slayer, and then you would get all these bones and insult heads, and that would get you to 70 prayer easily. Oh, I should have planted the mushroom spore. Oh well. Oh well. Alright, y'all know this part. I'm gonna throw on my grinding music. It's very soothing to me. I think I've got like a Pavlovian response to it now. I hear it, it kinda puts me in zen. That's a uh, favorite alternative route. Secret passage to the Chaos Altar. Which is like the raddest song in the game to just play in a tiny hallway. That's a good stopping point for the episode. Uh, we are at 22 bones collected, and we need... Uh, 129, so a little more than 100 more bones to go. And then we can leave this crap behind forever. Uh, thanks for watching. Next episode, I'm going to wrap up this grind. I'm just going to keep doing it from my perspective right now. Um, and then once this grind is wrapped, I'm excited to do literally anything else. Uh, possibly Barrows... We'll finish up the Mauritania Hard Diary, uh, which is an involved doing like a hard temple trek, so it'll be interesting. Um, but then I think we'll do Barrows after that. Finally, check it out, see what the what the ruckus is. Uh, I think we want to get a set of magic gear from Barrows, and I have no idea how long to expect that to take. If we do want to try to clear the quest gate by hour eight hundred, that's looking less and less likely. <laughs> The more I'm looking at that clock and the more I'm realizing how much time it takes to do stuff like get 70 prayer from 63, it was basically the focus of three episodes and almost like 24 hours of work. Um, we'll think about it, we'll see. Something, Something's going to happen, something's going to be fun. Uh, we'll at least do a little bit of Barrows, I think. 
once we have that Mauritania hard diary and then we'll figure out what the next step is. Uh, so thanks, see ya.